you only need to believe one fact or believe one thing to understand peak oil. And that one thing is that oil is a non-renewable resource. I mean, at least in, in our lifetimes, no more oil is being created. And once a person believes that, and there are some people that deny that, um, then it's just a matter of thinking out, well, how is it going to be that this resource is going to be consumed? So here's the resource. This is how much we've been consuming. And if it's a, a limited resource, let's say this was the total amount, one trillion barrels of oil. You know, is it just going to, is this realistic that it would just drop to zero all of a sudden? That all the pumps would run dry on the same day and it would just whoosh, like that? Uh, that's, it doesn't take much thinking to understand that's not going to happen that way. So then the question is what what's the future going to hold for production? And if we know it's a limited resource that means the area here is going to be a limited area. Is, is it going to continue up to here and then down? Is it, is it going to continue up and have a steep decline? Is it, is it going to start declining right now and be gradual? So we know there's going to be a peak once, once a person accepts that it's a limited resource and it's being consumed and we've already used this much, we've used a trillion barrels already. And some of the estimates say there's only one trillion more that we could ever possibly recover. I mean, there's a lot more we could never get out because it's just impossible to get out um, because it's just such an inf infinitely small amount spread out so broadly it's just, there's, it would consume too much energy to even attempt it. But then if you look at what the estimates are based on our current reserves, this is really the scenario we're looking at right here. And this takes into account all the sources of oil, including tar sands, which is this black part here, or they're called oil sands or heavy oils, from um, Canada, Alberta, Canada, and from Venezuela, mainly. So if you look at the U.S. resource, the U.S. is expected to provide less and less oil. Europe is expected to provide less. Russia, which has been providing a lot recently, is expected to provide less. The Middle East is going to still be able to provide a lot, but when you have all these declining um, produ producers, basically, it just can't make up for the fact that all these are in decline. And even like the natural gas liquids and the polar and the deep water, so it only takes understanding the one fact that it's a finite resource to understand there must be a peak. At some point, there's going to be a maximum point. And after that maximum point, you're just going to have a decline, what I've heard is called a terminal decline. It just declines forever. And that's not to say it's going to be a perfectly smooth decline. I mean, there may be years where we have a little bit more than the previous year, and then it goes back down the next year. But the trend, when you average it out, I mean, this trend was increasing, even though there was this dip here, a couple dips. But this trend here is probably going to be decreasing.